Hi, Dad. Um, so, God, I was laying there and God told me to tell you how I feel. So, I'm going to do that. Um, Dad, um, I hate you because you were not there for me. And um, I don't like you. I don't like you because... You abandoned my mom and you abandoned us. And um, even though I say that I've forgiven you, it's hard to really... Uh, it's hard to really say that I have because um, you've never really been there for me. Like, how can I forgive someone I don't even know? Um, so no, I don't... I don't have really a relationship with you. Every time I see you, I feel like, who are you? You, you don't let me in. You know, you don't let me in. And, um, and I think I'm, I think I just want to move on like I don't want to dwell on the past anymore and I want to have my own life I don't want to have this grief in my heart and I don't want to keep feeling like I'm missing out on something on a relationship um, or that I'm trying to replace you God or uh, dad not God um, I have so much pain in my heart that I've I don't even know how to process uh, fully, but there's a lot of emotions there that are pent up and it's been affecting me. Um, and I realized that like, um, I'll try to find things to replace those, those feelings of grief and um, whether it's okay trying to find satisfaction through um like when someone shows me love through giving to me or um through eating eating something that i like or eating sweets you know to replace the feeling of pain in my heart and i realized like i've had connections with guys or relationships but i realized that um deep down I really just want it to feel loved and it's love that only God God can give me um no human being can give that to you and you haven't given that to me at all and God kept telling me to tell you how I felt, but honestly, I'm like, how am I supposed to tell him how I feel when he's not even here, he's not present, he's totally emotionally and physically unavailable, he lives in another country, and even when I go to that country, I'm able to relay a bit of my heart, but just a little bit, and then you disappear. Um, you disappear, you run away, and you run away from confronting the pain of abandoning us and not being there for us, and I feel like I just keep... I just feel like I've never really like talked about it and I kept it in my heart for a long 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 time and I try to process it and I try to fill my life with doing and I, I try to fill my life with helping others I try to fill my life with um, things 
um, the newest iPhone, which I recently lost. It was stolen from me, and um, all of these things, it never really sufficed because deep down, I think that I was looking for a relationship with my dad and you. And so God's been telling me to tell you how I feel and I have honestly I still have a lot of uh, anger I think towards you I feel angry <laughs> I feel really angry that you made my mother suffer and I feel angry that you made us suffer. I feel angry that there was just a lot of silence in our lives. Things being unsaid, things not being spoken. <laughs> so I felt like there was a lot of lack attached to that. Like, you know, like my mother never felt like she was enough. Because you left for other women. You cheated on her. And then she tried to control us. She tried to control my brother and I. And then we suffered because she suffered. And you probably suffered because of your parents or something like that. And I just kept trying to rest. To... I try to fill my life with stuff. I try to fill my life with serving. I try to fill my life with, I guess, even relaying my heart to other people. But I just never was enough. And I never felt like I had enough. And So, how do I feel about you, God? I feel angry as well. I feel angry because I feel like I've given you my whole life and I've given you everything that I have. But... I feel like everything you gave me never felt like enough because it wasn't what I really wanted. <laughs> you gave me a friend. She was amazing. She's just my best friend, you know? But it wasn't enough, you know? You told me to tell my mother how I felt I did. And her reaction wasn't enough. She tried to blame me, accuse me. I tried to confide in people and... And... Then I feel this huge pain in my heart and I was like, God, what the heck is this? Am I trying to heal from past relationships from a guy that I used to like? But at the end of the day, I realized, no, I never relayed my heart fully to my dad and to you, God. And so I don't. A lot of times I didn't really want to talk to you, God, because I felt like you were just going to tell me what to do and that you didn't want me to have fun and you didn't. <laughs> you didn't want me to have a good life or. And I know those are all lies, but that's just how I felt. Like my life over and over again it was just pain well, it's like when I'm violently like having fun 
and I finally feel like I'm free. All of a sudden, something's taken from me, and like the pain just comes again. And I'm just tired of the enemy trying to steal my life and steal my joy. So that's how I feel, and I'm tired of shutting down my heart. And you're right. Maybe maybe my mom was right. Like, I do need to see a therapist, because I have just tried to run away from this pain, and I try to be okay, and I try to say that, yeah, I'm over it, and I forgive my dad, but no, like, I'm I'm angry, and I'm, I'm mad, and I'm tired of living in the cycle of trying to find satisfaction in things and work and anything else, but, like, I'm not tending to my heart, I'm not giving my heart what it needs, and... I just, I want my dad to say I'm really sorry for neglecting you guys, and he has, and the weird thing is, it's not enough. It's like, deep down, I want him to suffer, in a sense. I I want, like, in a weird way, I want you to suffer, and you are, you are suffering. You are an alcoholic, and you are suffering for your mistakes but like you know that God has forgiven you and deep down I do know that like God has forgiven you but I can't my heart hasn't fully let go of you I think and I want to I want to be able to let go of you and just say you know what I don't need you dad like Um, this sounds horrible, but, like, a part of me was, like, like, I hear people who are, like, oh, my my dad died, and he was abusive. Like, a part of me wished that you didn't, like, exist so that it wouldn't be so hard, but it's because you exist, and you're not, you've never made an effort. You've never made an effort to be our dad. I know that we're all grown. People say that, oh, you're grown up. But you're still my biological dad. And what hurts is that you've never really made an effort to have a relationship with us. Like, And it is not my fault. It's not my fault that you're not able to use Facebook Messenger or to make an effort to call or and I just I want to have my own life like I don't want to be searching for love through other things or like trying to find fulfillment in other things and having this like depressing feeling in my heart so do I want to have a relationship with you of course but I can't speak in a way that is just to flatter you, just to make you feel good about yourself. Like, I need to be able to express what I feel honestly and know that I am heard and that my opinion and thoughts matter. And so that's it. That's it for now. <laughs>